Hello and welcome along to episode 10 of this Cricket 22 Ashes Test with me, Daniel. We're England visiting Australia for the first Ashes Test at the Gabba. We're playing a session every episode as today we move into day four. The voice is a little croaky, so you'll have to forgive me for that. But crucially, there's been a big Xbox update to Cricket 22 and I've only got to sample it in career mode so far. But it looks fantastic. It's been a big update on the fielding and some of those little glitches. And it does seem to have solved a few of the menu problems as well. So I think we're getting close to Cricket 22 being an excellent game. However, with us trying to bowl out Australia as they continue to build their lead into the end of day three. We've got to try and hope it doesn't harm us taking wickets. And if anything, we'd like it to go the other way. So if you're looking forward to seeing if we can bowl Australia out and get back in with a bat chasing a total in this session, please do put a thumbs up on the video. You have to feel, to be honest, if we don't, if we're not batting by the end of these 30 overs, the total that Australia set is probably going to be insurmountable. So let's see if we can do it. Thank you to those supporting the series. I hope you had a good festive season. If you do want to catch up with the series, you can find it in the eye above. Please do subscribe down below and turn that notification bell on. The next episode will be on Wednesday morning. Unless for some reason this is wrapped up in the next 30 overs. Can't see that happening this time. But let's crack on and get into the next session. Day 4 and we'll remind you of the scorecard in a minute. Well we are back for the start of day 4. The 10th session and this is where we are at the moment. Australia in the first innings out for a pretty reasonable 313. We thought that's about par we can catch that. We got there with 4.17 thanks to an inspired innings from Ben Stokes. And then the pain started. Australia, 308 for 6 in the second innings. We've just not been able to take wickets. The amount of edges that have gone all over the place, anywhere but where our fielders and slips are. It's one of those unfortunate things. We did have a few desperate experiments towards the end of day 3 which didn't work. You can see by the fact that David Milan bowled an over. The fact that Joe Root's our top wicket taker. As definitely concerns. Australia though, two new batsmen at the crease, Pat Cummins, hasn't faced the ball yet. The skipper is joined by Alex Carey, who's 10 off 14, and in the first innings, looked the most comfortable of any batsman. So our job, after two quick wickets at the end of the last night's play, is to get Australia out before lunch. If we're chasing anything less than 250, I'll give us half a chance. If we get beyond that, we're in trouble. And with four wickets to go, and Australia already 204 ahead, I think we're in trouble. In other news, the update, the best thing it's done for me for Test Cricket is it's brought the clock back so you can see what time of day it is. You can see at the bottom left, 11 o'clock in progress. So let's go and get into the next 30 overs. David Milan will be coming out of the attack. Hopefully, early wickets to flow. Highlights from the next 30 overs. Hope you enjoy them. Well, I'm going to give Joe Root the first over of the morning for a very specific reason. We're in the 80th over. We're going to have the new ball available after this one. So let's throw in all the slips, see if we can take a wicket, and then we'll get the paceman on. Let's see if Joe Root can deliver. I mean, if he does very well, we'll of course continue, but I doubt that will be the case. In from Root, defended. That's going to be the pattern of the morning, I think. Pat Cummins deals with the first ball well. Skipper v Skipper. Second ball of the over. Off breakers to follow from Joe Root. In towards the stumps again, forcing a play. How's it gone between first and second slip? That's incredible. And they're going to get a third, I think, here. They've decided to run. It's very tight. Oh, they have to take the gamble. Only going to be three, though. No chance of the run out. Poor fielding again. Let's throw in the wrong one. And we're going to make it an effort ball as well. It's not going to spin too much from Joe Root. And it's got too far on the leg side. Defended away. Good start from the Aussies. Well, Broad and Wood are on. And we're going to accept the new ball. Let's get the two most aggressive bowlers in and see what they can deliver with it. I'm tempted to give Anderson a go. We'll decide after this over. Broad definitely first. Let's get the cross seamer out. Just see if it moves a little bit. That's all we're looking for. A little bit of optimism. That one, not the best. We're going to go a little bit shorter with the next ball. We want him playing outside off. There's all them slips there. Instead, he hits it massive through the leg side and it's going all the way to the boundary. Pat Cummins again facing Stuart Broad. Oh, that one's in between. They've gone up for a very ambitious LP, but just letting the umpire know we're there. Stuart Broad in again. We're going to change up the pace very slightly. Oh, Pat Cummins beaten on the outside edge. Wonderful delivery from Broad. The new ball is doing something. Let's throw one up with a seam as well. 
And we'll go a little bit slower this time. Try and just keep catching him out for pace. Oh, where's the wicket? Got to be coming soon. That's a wonderful finish to the over. Once he found his line broad, but that one that drifted. Very good over indeed. Anderson would definitely come on with that in mind. Well, Anderson not had a huge amount of success on the other side. So in he comes. That's a great shot. Through the leg side again. Just cannot get Jimmy Anderson working. It's going to go for at least three here. I hope it's not going to be run four again. It's not. But Anderson not quite finding his line again. Now we've got the right hander back on strike. We can go a little bit fuller and we can swing it away. Hopefully we can find a speciality here. Oh, little edge. Did he touch it? I don't think so. Beat the bat. He's given it. He did get a clip. Jimmy Anderson with a new ball. That is the first we've seen. That is proper Jimmy Anderson style. But I'm not sure if this will be challenged because I'm not sure he got anything on it. No. Anderson's delivery. Yes. Tiny little edge from Pat Cummins. And straight through to Joss Butler. Brilliant delivery. He's out for seven. We needed that this morning. An early wicket. Now can we back it up and get them out with a new ball. Again, we come in to hit the pitch hard with Stuart Broad. To the left-hander. Just beats the edge. The new ball effect is actually evident now. You've got to say that's a positive of the update. And we are against lower order batsmen. Bar carry. So we'd expect that. But here we come again. Outside off. Big shot. Well fielded. Definite upgrades in the field. I've got to say. Post update. This is a very good game again now. Let's try the slower one. Can we trick him into an edge? No. It's a big shot for four. Wasn't the best release actually. But Carey takes Australia into the 320s. Outswinger again, Jimmy Anderson. They're causing trouble to the new batsman. Oh, he's wafted at another one. Got to go for it. We're going to keep appealing. But we are forcing the edge each time. Now we go for the inswinger. We're going to throw it wide. And we're going to turn it back in. We're going to go faster. We're going to force Stark to play. Does he touch that one? That looked a lot closer. Not given. Oh, it's so hard to tell between them. But Jimmy Anderson is finally having fun with the new ball. Outswinging delivery. Two left in the over. At Mitchell Stark again. Oh, beaten again. One to go. We finish with the in-swinger to Mitchell Stark. Here he goes again. Will he play at it? He does, and he gets it away in fairness. Great shot Stark for four. Through the vacant mid-off. And that going to be first boundary for him. Two balls left in the over for Broad. Slower one to carry. Forces him to play and he does through the leg side really well. Going to be a couple there. Best I will get back around. Stuart Broad, one more chance to get Carey. Broad with the in-swing and delivery. We're going to try and force Carey to edge. He does play away. It's through the covers. Might go all the way, but the outfield is so slow now. And that's going to be the problem for us batting fourth. Is we're going to have to run virtually every run. The positives are that Jimmy Anderson has been giving Mitchell Stark a torrid time. The negative, Alex Carey, now the man on strike as it's across the stumps. Well played. Ah, oh, Carey's doing it again. He looks fabulous. That's going for four. And he's on to 26. Australia on to 335. The lead's past 230. Well, I know it's a bold call. I'm taking out Broad. He's had three overs and he's looked really poor. In comes the quick man, Mark Wood, the fastest bowler. Let's just hit the pitch. Let's just try and force an edge here. Standard delivery, little bit shorter, and we're going to go faster. Try and force him into playing. He does. It's away through the covers, though. That's a good shot, Mitchell Stark. Two more runs, I would have thought, and a lot of work to do. We maybe need to plug that gap and give up a slip. For now, though, let's just try and throw one up a bit more. We're going to go for the normal pace, but it's full of delivery. Stark's there. Gets it away. Oh, this is problematic. That's going for four. We need some Jimmy Anderson magic and we need it quick. Are we going to get it? Big heave, big shot. Four for Carey through the vacant extra cover region. That's a beauty. I mean, what on earth can you do? He's leaving perfectly and he's doing what he did in the first innings. He's making it look oh so easy compared to everyone else. This time away on the leg side, the fielder doesn't move. And that's going for four two. The problem here is when we bowl short, there's nothing coming from it. So we're going to have to play a little bit fuller. And that one's for extra cover again. Utterly ridiculous. Four more for Stark. We're going to have to bring the cover round. But they're finding the gap every time. And the edges have dried up very quickly. 
Anderson into Carey. Fourth ball of the over. Three dots so far. Carey's finding the leg side too easy. The swing's gone already. It didn't take long. We're in the tenth over with the new ball. And Jimmy Anderson has conceded another four. I've got to come around the wicket. And I'm going to try and swing it in. But I'm not sure if we're going to have any success with it. In it comes again. Carey bowled him. There we go. The change of line worked. Jimmy Anderson bowls Alex Carey all ends up. And the in-swing does him. Carey's out. It might be a little too late. 38 crucial runs. Jimmy Anderson takes the second of the morning. Nathan Lyons in. Jimmy Anderson 2 for 87. Australia though lead by 253. We've got to get them quick. We're going to swing it in again. Back over the wicket to Nathan Lyon. Force him to play. Force him to edge. He just defends. He's a very good blocker of the ball. Australia 357 for 8. Well Stark with 3 leaves so far. So we're going for the in swinger. And we're going to go faster. Let's see if we can catch him out. No it's a lovely shot. Through the covers, there's going to be four. And Stark adds crucial runs again. The first innings, all of his were edges. They were going through the slips. They were beating everyone. These are good shots. I'm getting angry now. So Yorker length delivery from Wood. We're just going to try and take his stumps off. A little bit too wide for that. And that is going to be a single. Anderson into his sixth over of the morning. Got two wickets already. Almost forces the edge there. We've got to appeal for it, but it didn't quite catch it. Excellent chance. Anderson again to Mitchell Stark. Two balls left in the over. That one's a better shot. Should be four again from Stark. He's hitting these cover drives exceptionally this morning. And we can't quite get the edge again. This is where the problem comes. Nathan Lyon versus Mark Wood again. Can we force the shot? Oh, it went right through. Just over the stumps. Another chance goes begging. Final ball of the Markwood over. It's on for a maiden. I'm going to throw in the slower one. Just try and do him here. It goes down the leg side. He's going to nick four. Unbelievable. Australia on to 370. Jimmy Anderson still at 100% for stamina. So I'm going to give him one more because he's the only bowler that's looked like taking a wicket this morning. In he comes again. That might be LB. We've got to appeal for that. Was it going just over? That's the question. It's not given. I'd suspect it's not out. But I feel we have to. We've got two challenges remaining. Let's go for a desperate one. So no ball is absolutely fine. Anderson around the wicket. The angle doesn't really benefit him. I'd imagine this isn't going to be close. It definitely didn't get an edge on the bat. It's whereabouts it pitched. It's, oh, it's going to be miles too high. Let's have a look at this. Ball tracking. Pitched outside off. Hits in line. It's going over. It's going over. There you go. And that was a full length delivery. Really shows how much bounces in the Gabba pitch. Final ball of the over. We're trying to get the big Yorker swinging into Mitchell Stark. It's a big edge though, and it doesn't carry. Australia stay 370 for eight. Well, Australia have made the drinks break. That's how bad it's got here. I'm going to take out Mark Wood and bring in Chris Wokes. I might even go for spin at the other end because Root's been one of the main options. And let's be honest, the ball's not swinging anymore. Chris Wokes will come in, cross seamers. Can he threaten the stumps? Can he force an edge? In he comes, Wokes. Oh, little outside edge, was it? No. Just the movement off the pitch. It's a dot ball. Good start, though, for Chris Wokes. We'll try another. We'll vary up the pace as we go along through the over two. Big edge. Through to point. They're just not carrying. They're just not finding the fielders. So unfortunate. Wokes again. We're going to slow this one down slightly too. Slower pace. Same line. Gets that one away more easily. Seems to be Lyon prefers it when it's a little bit slower. Going to get two. Are they going to come back for a third hit? They are. Very good running. Are they back in time? Just. Wokes had a dot ball to Stark. Let's try and follow it up with another. Maybe even a wicket taking opportunity. That's a better LB shout. But I don't think it's close enough. No, we're not going to challenge that. Didn't look close enough. I'm just having a look at the ball tracking now. Pitched outside off. I think it's too high. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. We didn't appeal it. And it was clean. Oh, no. Oh, it plays tricks on your mind, this game. Let's do it again. Same delivery. Oh, that's going to haunt us. We should have reviewed it. Australia, 3-7-3 for 8. 
It should have been for nine. Jimmy Anderson will have to be replaced now. I'm going to bring on spin to Nathan Lyon. We'll just see if there's any chance Joe Root can take a quick cheap wicket. He's got two already. In towards Lyon. Swept away. That's going to be runs. Should be three. Bring Stark back on strike. I've still not recovered from the last over though. Well off breakers to the left hander Mitchell Stark. He's just not playing at the minute. So let's force him. And it beats him all ends up. Mitchell Stark plays all around it. We get an achievement there for something or another. And Josh Hazelwood is in. It could have been all out now if we'd done it last time. That review's going to cost us. But Hazelwood facing Joe Root as well. Let's challenge the stumps then. Hazelwood plays. That got an edge. Has that got an LB shout? Think it was a little bit too far leg side. But I don't even want to look at the ball tracking this time. We're going to bowl shorter. We're going to force the edge. No, straight to the fielder. Australia, 376 for nine. The lead, 272. Nathan Lyon on to Chris Wokes. Now we'll make sure we challenge whatever is an LB shout here. In towards the stumps. Big edge. Oh, it's beating the keeper. Wouldn't have even been caught by a leg slip. And it's another four crucial runs that are completely undeserved. Big inside edge over the stumps. Down to the boundary for four. Chris Wokes is causing all sorts of trouble here. The fortunate four took Australia on to 380. That one's a great shot though. Four more runs. 384 or will it be 383? Stokes is chasing. Can he keep it back? I think they'll run four anyway. Let's see. No, they stop at three. 383 for nine, Australia. Hazelwood, one ball of Wokes to come. Around the wicket to the left hander. Slower ball to try and catch him out. Played away. Oh, it's going to go again. Beats the fielder. Unbelievable. That's going to be four more, I think. Nope, Stokes can't save that one. 387 for nine. We're going to have one hell of a batting effort to come. Well, on for a maiden from Joe Root. I'm going to throw in the wrong one to finish off. Try and challenge the stumps. Lion sweeps away. Should be two or three, to be honest. Going to be two. I've moved the field around slightly for Australia here on the leg side. As that one's in at the stumps. Oh, it's a thick edge. And it goes through for four. Unbelievable. Psychologically, we cannot let this lead get to 300. It's only 11 away and they're getting edges. That one misses the bat. Of course it does. The one on the offside. Root continues to lie in. He has had some effect so far. Forces the edge there. Is that taken? I thought that had something on it. Nothing given. Root into Nathan Lyon again. Skipper V spinner. That's a beautiful shot. Four runs. Two, nine, three. Or is the field going to save us again? The outfield slow. That should be just three. Well done by the fielder. Three, nine, six for nine. A lead of 292. Off breaker to the left hand. The tail ender is what we want though. In at the stumps. Got a shot on it. Going to get a run too. Frustrating. Australia reached the 100 over mark again. 397 for 9. They're at risk of catching our first inning score here. They're not far away at all. Only 20 runs to go. Let's get in the full length for... Surely there's got to be a wicket soon. Wokes into Hazelwood. Oh, just on the leg side, I think. Worth a shout for LB, but it was drifting. We'll throw it slightly wider. Just see if we can get the edge or even a better LB. That had to have the edge. That felt like it had a touch. Nothing given. Oh, what a frustrating over. Wokes in again. Slightly wider. Threatening edges. Threatening LBs all over. This one beats the edge too. Hazelwood has not got a clue what to do with Wokes here. Every ball has been a threat. And then he gets one away on the leg side. Oh, it's so frustrating. That's going to go all the way to the lead is 297. We are in big big trouble i don't know that we can chase this root out stokes in australian tail enders doing our head in slower ball must have got the edge didn't quite lion survives again cross seam from stokes we've tried everything in this over already he's been in that's got to be lb that's a great shout did it get an edge i think it's a little high if anything stokes in again to nathan lyon that's a great lb shout that was much lower was it outside the line though? That's the question. They've run through for one as well, I think. Yeah, one leg by, no wicket. And now it's the left-hander Hazelwood against Ben Stokes. Final ball of the over. Oh, thick edge, but it bounced. I went up too early. Bounced on its way through. Luck of the draw again. Australia, 4.02 for nine. Chris Wokes in. 
24th over of the morning. We might not get to bat before lunch here. Away on the leg side, it's going for runs. Oh, jeez. It's going to be three again. And Australia's lead will pass that big 300 mark. They're going to run a fourth, I think. They are. Will it be a run out to finish? No, wrong end. Chris Wokes into line again after he adds four more runs to the total. Goes for a big heave there. They're going to run through for a leg by Hazelwood on strike. The lead 303. He's not looked comfortable for any of his 13 runs. Did that get an edge? I don't think it did. Oh my word, it goes on. Cross Seamer from Wokes. Hazelwood still struggling, still finding edges. Or not quite. Gets one away on the leg side though. And he's going to get another couple. This is absolutely infuriating. Australia onto 409. Stokes continues over the wicket, in towards Nathan Lyon. We have to get rid of him. Oh, just beats the edge again. Stokes in again to Nathan Lyon. He's forcing little plays and misses every time. And then you just get a ridiculous cover drive like that. Four more runs. The lead's 309. Stokes to Lyon. Final ball of the over. Let's throw in a slower one. Glanced away off the pads. It's going to go all the way again. It's slowing out in the outfield. It might be restricted to three. In fact, are they going to run a third? They are. Just gets back. Three runs added. Australia, 4-16 for nine. The lead, 3-12. Australia now just one run off our first innings total, which is scandalous, really. Into the stumps again from Wokes. Beats the edge again. Ridiculous. Australia might make lunch here, you know. Wokes in again. Final ball of the over. Big heave on the leg side. And they're having fun now. Lions on to 37. And this is just scandalous. Broad's back in. We're trying to take the wicket. But it's been dealt with comfortably. Five dot balls. Is that LB or did it get the bat first? We've gone up for the shout. Nothing's given. Australia still on 420 for nine. Wokes replaced by Anderson again. The only seamer to actually take wickets this morning. We're going to try a seamer first. Just see what happens with it. Oh, that's LB. That's out. That is the final wicket. First ball of his spell, Jimmy Anderson gets him. Three wickets this morning. It's about time. We'll get the challenge because it's the last wicket. But I think we're going to be fine. We'll come back if there's any concerns. Umpire's call on the wicket. We just survive it. It's hitting the top of the bales by a fraction. But it's out. Australia are gone for 420. It's a wonderful session. And Australia looking pretty good. It's 12.48. We're going to get about one over before lunch. So the time is 12.58. We are going to get literally one over before lunch. Burns and Hamid just got to stay in. It's the same as what happened at the end of day one. And we have got to chase 316. It needs to be a monstrous, monstrous effort. And Burns and Hamid have to deliver here. So let's just get ourselves defensive. Good one off the full ball. Well done from Burns. Well, all blocks and leaves. Can we survive the final ball? It's at the stumps. It probably could have been played away for one. But Rory Burns survives it. England survive it. But this is going to be more than an uphill task. A brilliant effort. We go off for lunch. The bowlers have not really helped us here. Some big runs at the end for Australia. And England finish naught for naught off one over. We've got five sessions left, so there's no rush. But 316 on a day four pitch is a big ask. Australia make 420, Root and Anderson three wickets apiece. Anderson three this morning, Root with one. But Australia, that tail wagged. And we've now got to catch 316 in our final innings. We'll be back for the next session to start our progress towards that. The crucial thing here is survival. Not getting out to the early ball and then trying to take some runs. Build an innings and hope we can survive. If you are looking forward to that and you did enjoy the episode, please do put a thumbs up on the video. It's perfectly poised, but it's going to be difficult. And I'm not sure if 316 is a total we can catch. If you want to find out and stay up to date, subscribe down below and turn that notification bell on. We'll be back on Wednesday for the second session of day four. And then on Saturday, if we're still going after that. In the meantime, you can find both of our FM22 playlists up in the eye above. There's also links up there to the Twitch channel for live streams and to the football podcast. But a massive thank you for watching, for joining me as always. Hopefully the croaky voice will be gone next time. And I'll see you on Wednesday as we chase 316 to win an enthralling first test at the Gabba. I'll see you there.